We head to the West Coast for our next guest. He put on a clinic in the conference finals. And us as a show got destroyed in the conference finals. I was no help. You know, I was very bullish on the Ravens like an ass clown. And I don't want to get into, you know, the five rush attempts. But uh, this capper did not. We had two of 15 cappers in the black in our conference final show, which means we got to get right here in Super Bowl 58. Your next guest went five and one plus 4.76 units in just his second appearance on the show this year. Please welcome one of our stars of our mixed martial arts programming on our channel, but also a monster in NBA and NFL. Please welcome the MMA locker room. Our guy Mills in the house. Mills, what's good, my man? How are you? What's good, man? How's it really going, man? We good on this Monday, man? We about to get money. Stick to it like a magnet on this Monday, man. Let's get it. You put on a clinic in the conference finals. Take it away. How are you getting paid in Super Bowl 58? Yeah, man, it's going to be a good game, man. I'll be honest, man. Whenever you guys got the Chiefs and they're giving them points, it just don't sound right, right? It seems like it's too good to be true. Do what you want with that one. But, man, you already know. Mills player prop market. Let's go ahead and get it started, man. I'm going to start with my touchdown props. I'm running out Isaiah Pacheco anytime touchdown. Hear me out. Minus 120 on the books. I love it. Let me give you the look. 100% rate last five games. If you played this prop, you came out on top. 24 carries in his last game. What you think the Chiefs going to do out here, man? You think they're going to stop running the boy? They ain't got nobody behind them that's going to take out those carries. On top of it, this guy's just not a running guy that can catch it out the back, that can run it out the backfield. He can catch it out the backfield. Last year, barely got maybe one reception, two receptions in the game. This year, looked like Leonard Fournette over there with the Jags in his last year. He's catching receptions, good Lord, out the backfield. He's getting them three three times in the game. That's why his receptions props at two and a half to three and a half in the game. In other words, he got two different ways to get in this end zone, Jimmy. I love, I love me some Isaiah Pacheco anytime touchdown, hitting out 100% clip in his last five games. Next, I'm running with CMC. Been running it all year, but they ain't just one. It's two for me. I'm taking him to get two touchdowns in the game. You can get it at like plus 170. There is some books that got it at like a plus 250 out there. Um, You know, if you can get that line, get it. But uh, I think it's like plus 170. You guys can shop around for those. Um, He already has multiple games with uh, two touchdowns, hitting at a 60% clip in his last uh, three out of his last five games. So I'm running with those little touchdown props that I like. Same thing with him. He can catch it out the backfield, run it in through the end zone. When you get into that goal line, you only going to hand it to people that you can trust. He gets mad when he don't get in the end zone. You remember that one game? He didn't get that touchdown in, and it broke the streak, and he was looking at the coach like this. It ain't about one no more for him. He wants multiple touchdowns in these games now. It ain't the same. All right, Travis Kelsey, you think he ain't going to try to get in that end zone and do a little dance to Taylor Swift? You think he ain't going to try to do this? Of course he is, man. Travis Kelsey, anytime touchdown, minus 117. Only hitting out of 40% in his last five games, but that's something that I like a lot in here. On top of it, if he ain't catching it, they might even run a little stupid reverse for him and hand it off for him. I mean, you know how it is. If Travis Kelsey scores the touchdown, Jimmy, who are they going to show on the screen? Uh, Taylor Swift. There you go. Of course she's going to score. Next, let's go on, on back to San Francisco 49ers. When it comes to this, man, it reminds me of them old school days. Friday, RIP to my man Debo. It's only right I get him in this one in the end zone. I'm taking Debo Samuel anytime touchdown, plus 106. That's where I see it at. That's where I'm playing it at right now. If there's a better line out there, cool with that. Same thing, man. When they activate this guy, that's when they win. When they was in the playoffs competing that one time, and then they didn't get that far, it was because Debo was doing everything for him. They took away that Debo Samuel role this year, barely start bringing it back. Ever since they start handing them off the ball and passing them the ball multiple times, it seems like this is the offense that, you know, is a real threat, not just a CMC touchdown type of guy. So I'm running with Debo Samuel anytime touchdown. Those are my anytime touchdown props to get you on top. You already know. Receptions, got a lot that I like out there. I'm starting off with Brandon Ayuk over four and a half receptions. 75 receptions on the year with 1,300 yards, 1,300 yards. All he needed was a real quarterback to throw to him. 
Brock Purdy ain't this, he ain't that, but he could throw the damn ball. Check it out. Last couple of games, targets, that's what I like to see in his range. Eight targets last game, six, eight, seven, and four. Even though he only got three complete, uh, three targets, uh, three uh, com- targets in that game completed, it was because Brock Purdy only had like 20 completions. Brandon Ayuk, though, is their number one receiver out there. So I look for him to go over four and a half receptions. I'm taking CMC over four and a half receptions, hitting out a 60% clip. Uh, hear me out on this one. He had four more receptions in all five of his last games. Um, so I'm running with that prop. I like that a lot. Spoken on it earlier, Isaiah Pacheco. Catch him out in the backfield over two and a half receptions, minus 165. Last couple of games, some stats that I like that cash going for four, seven, and four. Two games with only one in those. I think this is going to be a game where those guys are going to be blitzing. They got some new additions over there on that uh, defensive line. And I ain't talking about the singing group. So, you know, definitely you're going to be having to pass it out to Pacheco out there. So I like him over two and a half receptions. Back to the man, the man that they call in the middle. Travis Kelsey over six and a half receptions, minus 150. You can ladder it up if you want. 93 receptions on the year with 984 yards. Career stats against this team, played them four times. 22 receptions with uh, 27 targets. Only missed the ball five times. 21 games in the playoffs, 156 receptions. He's a problem in the playoffs. Give me Kelsey over six and a half receptions. And then I'm going with Rasheed Rice over six and a half, minus 115. 79 receptions on the year. He is the number one receiver option for the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. Six or more in three of his last five games. So I think he's going to get in that end zone too. But I'm only taking him over six and a half. Last but not least, CMC. Over 89 rushing yards. Hear me out, man. He's number one in the NFL in rushing yards with 1,400 yards. Little white boy running the rock on these dudes, bro. You think they're going to stop it now? I don't. And on top of it, I think Shanahan's going to try to throw the ball least that he can and keep Mahomes off the field because that's usually the path to win against teams like that. So if you're running the rock with CMC, I think we're going to see a heavy exposure in this game. Number one in the rushing yards, too. So I don't think that's going to stop in this game. Uh, I mean, line shopping for you as we've gone through, and I found uh, over at Pinnacle some really great lines for you. I'm just going to grab Rishi Rice, and then we'll go over uh, everything for you here. Let me just grab Rishi Rice. And your Rishi Rice prop was over six and a half receptions. So that's at minus 105 here uh, at pinnacle so got some big numbers here the Ayuk over four and a half receptions plus 121 debo samuel anytime td plus 151 got you kelsey anytime touchdown plus 105 uh cmc over two or cmc two touchdowns let me i didn't check that here i checked that at the wrong book let me see if they'll give you a multiple here and they uh oh yes they will uh two or more touchdowns is plus 201 there we wow. go. Okay. That's a better price there. Plus 201. The over six and a half receptions was here at minus 148. Uh, so you are in business. So let's review uh, Millsy's action. And he, uh, you know, as I said, put on a clinic in the conference finals. He's got Pacheco anytime touchdown at minus 120. You know, that's one I didn't actually look to see if I could beat. Let me see if I can um, possibly beat the uh, Pacheco. But other than that, I think... We're good here. So that was the over, or no, anytime touchdown for Pacheco, a minus 123. So it's no better. So we'll keep you the minus 120. Over two and a half receptions, minus 160 here uh, for Pacheco, a minus 160 here at, at a Pinnacle. And then uh, I went over the other parts of Rice, Rice over six and a half receptions, CMC over four and a half, and over 88 and a half rush yards, and Ayuk over four and a half receptions, and all that. Uh, you are in business, Mills, in business. Mills, we have another big UFC card this Saturday. Uh, we have your own playlist on our YouTube homepage at Pop Sports Radio with all the interviews that you have been rocking. What is next for you? And what do you want the cappers in the chat to know about? Yeah, man. So we got the Locker Room Podcast coming out. That's coming out on Apple Music, Spotify, uh, everything that you guys can download anything on. We do it on Thursday night. Uh, Usually Thursday comes out, usually about Thursday night out there. So all you guys just want to listen to some stuff. Not your typical uh, prediction type of show. 
uh, you know, it's me, Big Show, usually another guest like Two Cent, um, you know, and some other people. Besides that, though, I got an interview locked and loaded with Max Griffin. Max Griffin fights this week versus Jeremiah Wells on the UFC Fight Night card. Uh, that's on the Pub Sports Radio site. We talked for a long time. Uh, you know, it's going to be a good fight in that one. Um, besides that, got an interview with Miranda Maverick. She's fighting uh, the following week after that, at UFC 298 out here in Anaheim, California. Um, trying to trying to go to that event and uh, get in there and see if I can get some questions off. But, you know, we'll see how that goes. But besides that, yeah, man, that's what I got going on the channel right there. So after you guys got done watching this, go on over there and show some love and support to that, too. Respect, my man. Please uh, support our guy Mills with his interviews and also on X at MMA Locker Room for our guy Mills in the house and firing away at the board.